Hi, and welcome back to The Deck. I'm Rebecca and Brian, but you can call me Beck. Today we have a special episode. It's kind of like a The Deck in Beck's Closet episode. It's kind of like an informational episode. It's kind of like a hybrid of the two. What I'm doing today is packing for a writer's conference. I have a writer's conference coming up, so you're going to pack with me. I'm going to show you what I pack, give you some tips that might be helpful if you're going to your first writer's conference, and we will see how this goes. I've been to a variation of this particular writer's conference um, two years ago now, in, in 2019. So I kind of do know what to expect for a tire. That's kind of the first thing you want to figure out, whether it's a more professional conference or if it's more casual. So for this conference, it is very casual, I would say. First, you want to know as much as you can about the venue. A lot of these conferences take place in um, conference centers or hotels where there's a good chance that air conditioning is going to be blasting. So what you want to definitely think to do is pack layers. So I'm definitely going to pack a sweater or two, but also the conference I'm going to is in the South. It's going to be warmer than it is at home. So I'm going to, I'm going to consider that too. We're going to be inside most of the day. There is a social aspect to the days as well. So there's a lot to plan for. So to start, pick your luggage. I, this is my, actually my daughter's suitcase. I like to bring it to writer's events because it, it matches my brand. It matches my book covers. So I like to, um, I brought it to, um, events where I've had a table set up before and I packed all my books in here and my supplies for the table. So since I'm only going for a couple days, I think my luggage will fit in here. So I'm going to use this one again, because I am staying at the same hotel as the conference is at. So it's possible I may see some of my, it's very likely, in fact, I may see some of the um, speakers and fellow conference goers as I bring my suitcase in and out. So, you know, you, the luggage doesn't really matter, but <laughs> why not? Why not be fun with it if you can? So, um, the first piece of advice I would say is either pack things you already know fit you well and are comfortable, or make sure to try them on beforehand. Um, like I said, I went to the same conference um, two years ago. I went to a similar conference as this, run by the same organizers two years ago. And I have some of the same pieces packed for this year anyway, and I will get into why in a minute. But try on the clothes, make sure they still fit. Um, it, it's, it's really never a guarantee. All right, so if your conference has a theme, you may want to play into that theme. Now you're like, why would a conference have a theme? Maybe you are going to Thriller Fest. Maybe you're going to a Horror Writers Association um, conference. Maybe Romance Writers of America. Um, something like that. My conference that I'm going to doesn't necessarily have a theme, but at least two years ago, it did have an inside joke. The two um, organizers of this event, they both write or used to write post-apocalyptic fiction. And they both happened to show up one time without planning in camo cargo pants or cargo shorts. So it was an inside joke after that going into the conference two years ago that, hey, everyone should dress in, in camo because it's a thing now. Um, I am bringing that back. I, I am probably going to be maybe one of the only ones there dressed in camo, but... Um, I am one of those people who uh, take a joke too far um, and kind of pound it into the ground. And, and plus, I mean, 
why not? I'm not going to wear camo every day like I did two years ago, but I am going to still work it in while still being uh, faithful to my style. So honestly, these are all clothes that they've seen before, um, but I'm styling them a little differently than I did last time. Maybe they think I'll only have three clothes. That's fine. This first outfit is going to be for my driving day. I am driving to this event. Um, it's going to take a long time to drive there. I want to be comfortable, but I know there's also a social event that night that I'm hoping to make it for. So I want, I want, I may change when I get there. I don't know. Maybe I'll pack myself another option, but I want an outfit that can go from the car to right to the event if I don't have time to change. So I have a really comfortable maxi dress. Like I am not entirely sure there is anything more comfortable in this world than like a knit, like a Jersey maxi dress. So that's what I have. And then I have <clears throat> this camo t-shirt that I am going to knot over the dress. Last year, this conference went virtual and I wore the same thing to the virtual, <laughs> to the virtual conference. So I'm not reinventing the wheel. You don't have to either. Use the clothes you have, um, establish a conference going look, and um, yeah, people don't need to see you in different clothes every time. They can if you want to wear something different. All right, so that's for day one. This is for my driving day. This is for my going out with some of the conference attendees at night. Okay, day two. This is the first day of the actual educational part. I am going with these um, camel pants. I wanted to go with like this floaty light because it's going to be hot out, um, but kind of girly shirt. I like matching the toughness of this, the kind of floatiness of this. I'll tuck it in at a belt because I'm, I'm into tucking in everything everything gets tucked in these days. So this is going to get tucked in. I'll add a belt, see how that looks. And that's what I'm going to go with for the first uh, all day um, educational kind of situation. That's what I'm going to go with for the first day of sessions. Um, also, I have some business to attend to while I'm down there. I am going to be doing an interview or two for this channel while I'm down there. So I found this amazing dress um, at Nordstrom that was just perfect. So I'm gonna bring this down there. Um, I may record, you know what, I am. I'm gonna record both those interview videos wearing the same dress. It's a thing, it's okay to repeat clothes. Uh, oh, and then I also have a sweater, like I said, layering. Hotels get cold, so this is like a drapey sweater. So that's going to be day one. We have my interview, my my outfit to record YouTube videos. We have, and then we have the camo. Am I going to regret wearing the camo if no one else is wearing the camo? And I have beat this inside joke um, into the ground, and no one gets it. Yes and no. These are outfits I would wear anyway. So it's fine. So day two of these sessions, I wanted to wear something that all writers will appreciate. This is a typewriter t-shirt that I got from a friend um, a number of years ago. I wore it to uh, day one of the conference two years ago, uh, which was kind of just a meet and greet and podcast night. So this time I'm wearing it on day three. And I'm hoping to pair it. See, this time, like I said, it's really casual, but this is pretty casual. Pairing a t-shirt with a skirt. I love this skirt. Um, and it's super comfortable, too. So I'm going to pair this t-shirt with that skirt. And it'll also be good for the hot weather of the south. And that will be day two. Um, comfortable shoes. Comfortable shoes are you know, a good thing to have. I'm going to be sitting most of the day, but I know on lunch breaks, we are free to do what we want. I'm not going to want to take my car anywhere. So it's very possible I'll be walking to some restaurant. So comfortable shoes, 
for sure. And then really comfortable travel clothes for just leggings and t-shirt for my drive back on Monday. What to pack besides clothes? Like I said, I am doing a couple interviews while I'm out there, hopefully. So I will be taking my ring light, which is over there. I will be taking my microphone, which is over there and, and with the stand. And I will be taking my tripod, which is over there. So luckily I'm driving, not flying. So I can just throw those in the back of my car. Um, I would say though, the most important thing, this is going to be a do what I say and not what I do moment. Bring business cards, bring business cards. You are going to this conference. You will meet people, whether you're an introvert or not, you're going to meet people. You just will. Why is this a do as I say and not as I do? I ran out of business cards a while ago and my business cards um, do not match my rebrand. I was still living off of my really super awesome business cards for my concert going series. They were perfect. They were red. They looked like concert tickets. Um, I can't even remember. Zazzle. I think I got those off Zazzle. They have a lot of just pages and pages, hundreds of pages of cool, um, of cool business card ideas. Um, I know Vistaprint is another good place. Vistaprint has coupon codes all the time. I should not be showing up to an event without business cards. So I have not designed a business card for my, um, Jane Austen books. I have not designed a business card for my author stylist, um, business or my bedecked videos. So I have to come up with something today so that I can print out some business cards so I'm ready to go. So have business cards ready. Plan ahead. Also, maybe you want to bring book, your, some of your books. I don't know. You're probably not going to be selling any books in this event. You shouldn't expect to sell any books at this event. But, I mean, if people are curious, you can be like, oh, yeah, I just happen to have some on hand if you want to take a look at them. You know, if they'd be something that your readers will like or something like that. I don't think it's necessary to bring your books. Um, I didn't even know if I had any on hand. I do. So I'm just going to bring one of each of my um, Rockin' Austin collection. And that way, if someone uh, wants to take a look at them, if someone wants to take them home, fine. Here you go. Definitely, I'm going to pack my laptop because I'm going to have three nights in a hotel to myself. I got to edit these videos. I have to... Um, Maybe I, I generally do a lessons learned blog, blog post um, after a conference. So I might start that. Hopefully I'll do some writing. I can't imagine I'm going to be awake enough to do that. But yeah, bring your laptop. Finally, you're going to want to bring something to take notes. You could take notes on your phone, but then it looks like you're texting the whole time. I like having a notebook. I've used this same Pride and Prejudice notebook that I think I got from Barnes and Noble a bunch of years ago. I bring the same notebook to every conference. So all my conference notes are in one notebook. It's not running out of room yet. And it's Pride and Prejudice. So it's perfect. As far as accessories go, I have my smartwatch. So I don't have to look at my phone in case I get a text message during the conference. I can either look at it then or ignore it um, in case someone needs me at home for some reason. I'm bringing my flower at the locket necklace because that's pretty cool and I'm sure a lot of writers would be excited about that. But that's about it. I'm going to finish packing. I can't wait to go to this conference. I can't wait till you go to a conference. Let me know if I forgot anything. Um, and yeah, get ready to have a lot of fun, learn a lot, and meet some great like-minded people. I hope this was informational and kind of fun. I will see you from the conference because next week's video will be recorded right probably from my hotel room. So look forward to that. I will see you next time on the deck. Thanks for watching. Bye.